I'm working you through the Spylock app that I've developed previously. This is a keypad and I'm entering a code. And as you can see from an outside observer, it's hard to understand the code. When you enter the app, you can turn on the Spylock protection, which asks you to set some permission for your app to basically be allowed to display over other apps. In the app, you can choose a number of apps to protect, and I added WhatsApp here. And now I'm going to open WhatsApp, and you can see that while I would try to open WhatsApp, I get the code confirmation, and I access to my WhatsApp after entering the correct code. Again, it's hard to understand what code I just typed from an outside observer, and I'm going to explain this, how this works in a bit. Other function of the app is to use the app as a screen lock. So when you lock your screen and then come back and unlock, so imagine somebody has had your code pad, then they will be faced with a spy lock code pad. And again, in that case, you have to enter the code twice, but you can see that you still do not know after watching it five times what code I'm typing. Also, is just a two digit code. And inside there is a tutorial and this is where I can explain you how to type the code. Here we are trying to type seven and three. So you look at seven, you look at seven is blue and then you press the blue button. So what you do is you are typing seven is pop, uh, pink and so you're typing pink. If you type 48, you look at four, four is blue, you tap blue, four now is gray, you tap gray, eight is pink, you type pink and eight is gray, you type gray. This demo is going a bit fast, but the idea is that you do not type on the digit you want to show. You are actually typing on the color displayed on your digit. And this simple trick makes it really hard for an outside observer to understand what you're doing. In the app, I built in some payment system to go unlimited. Um, instead of being able to select only a few apps, you can select a lot more apps to protect, for example. There was also a recovery method where you had a key that you could send to your email in case you forget your password. There was also an integrated feedback form that was a very simple way to do it was to include a Google form in the app as a very lean way to work. And again, that was just an outside URL that I would display in the app, which made it really easy to update the table uh, terms and conditions and everything from outside. I and that's the same with the FAQ that you see here, which was really easy to update from the outside because it's loading a web app. So all this made me move really fast in developing this app in a very lean way. Um, and I could update question as users were sending them. Yeah, I'm testing a few more options in the app. So I'm showing the code again. So I'm typing one five. If you can follow really fast, that's the code I'm typing. So one is pink. And then here I pressed that I forgot my key, so that's where you could enter your recovery key and you forgot your, you don't have it, then you can send your key by email to you. And there is a quick reminder of how to type the code in the top right corner that re-explained that you were typing a two digit code that you don't click on the, but on the digit, but on the buttons and that you click on the color of the digits you want to type and that you have to do two clicks per digits. And so I'm typing one, Five, so one is pink and pink again, and then five is blue. So I'm typing it again. I, I hit the clear button, and I type the code again to show all the functionalities. Here we activated the protection, and I'm adding a few apps randomly. So you can see that the, the display is quite dynamic, and when we reach a limit, we got a screen asking us to either pay to protect more apps, fixed cost of 4.99, or to go unlimited by having a subscription, subscription based model. And then you could pay directly uh, from the app in a very um, convenient and integrated way.
and I'm going back to the app, I'm going to show a few more options. So this is um, all the apps that are on the phone that are displaying this, that could be sorted by alphabetical order or search through. By default, they are ranked by frequency of usage. And you can see how here all the app collapsed and are just on one line when I was doing the search. So there is quite a lot of uh, UI work uh, in this very simple app, especially on the search for the apps. There is a few more explanations for the settings that is quite hidden. So if you don't need it, we don't show it. And here I'm typing a demo that to show a friend. The idea was to be able to spread how the pad works without having to type your actual code and just demo it to someone that was kind of a mechanism for spreading the work.